last barrier to completing the Sauhegan River Trail is to utilize the old canal and remnants of the Industrial Age to connect Watson Park to the Sauhegan River Trail up through Wildcat Falls. This historic tidbit is dedicated to town planner and town father Nelson Disco. The falls were important throughout history, and of course crossing them with bridges was important, the first one being John Chamberlain in 1734. And in 1921, the John Chamberlain Stone Arch Bridge was constructed. With the removal of the historic dam 15 years ago, and the return of a free-flowing river, Harold and Barbara Watson gave the town of Merrimack a piece of land and reclaimed it for a public park, right where the original industrial activities took place. Long been the dream of many people in the community to have a river trail and to be able to go under Route 3 safely from Watson Park all the way to Wildcat Falls. And this is the story here of utilizing the old canal and industrial remnants to create a beautiful path in concert with uh, federal and state and um, local um, agencies. Um, it was finally able to come together after many years and begin this past fall. Here we have what it once looked like just a short time ago, an impossible path through that old canal, water pouring into it, a torrent racing down the river. And now we will shortly open up the final product. From behind the central station, there will be access to the boardwalk that goes over the old mill pond and connects to the Sauhegan River Trail to Wildcat Falls. And if we turn right at this juncture, we are elevated above the present day marsh where we can go and witness the bucolic tranquility in the heart of our community. And see all of nature and the ecosystem and the flora and fauna that live in parallel to our lives. And if we go left, we go down through the old sluiceway safely going under Route 3. The engineering of this boardwalk is quite unusual and will virtually last forever. And of course we're awaiting uh, fencing and posts to make it safe along the boardwalk. And when it's complete, later this summer, we'll be able to walk right down through. The river can be enjoyed. The old sluiceway brings us so pleasantly down to what once was a jumble where no one dared to go. Through the old water gate, we walk into the canal. We see the ancient stonework on one side, the industrial concrete and so forth on the other. And the beauty of the Stone Arch Bridge and the restored run of the river. 
and the wondrous stone arch that supports all of this, made by the Lovejoy Quarry Company in 1921. Walls have been repaired and reinforced with concrete. Old walls have been cut through to create a portal. Sidewalk has been repaired above, which was part of the reason for doing any of this. And then on into Watson Park. What a transformation of something where <laughs> No good parent would have ever let their child go and tangle with. So very soon, this pleasant little path won't end in a locked gate, which is presently so, but will open up and complete Harold and Barbara Watson's dream of a park and a trail system that matches the needs and culture of our community. We are tantalized by what these gates will bring us when they are thrown open. Busy Route 3 has been bypassed. Sidewalk has been repaired. The bridge has been reinforced. So much change, and yet so much is still apparent of everything that came before us. <laughs>